So hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, for anybody that is new here, my name is Henry um, and I go outside and I make these photography vlogs that aim to inspire people, to inspire you guys to get outside with your cameras, uh, enjoy the great outdoors and hopefully return home with some nice images as well. So I hope that you get something from my channel. Now, um, the location today was unplanned. Um, I wanted to actually go back out to the west coast where we spent last week's video. Um, but since I got up, the weather has been terrible. It's been really, really changeable. We've had some really heavy tropical rains um, and then we've had flat light and then the sun's come out and we've had blue skies. So, you know, it might have been worth the risk, but I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to risk it this weekend. Last weekend I got uh, drenched. The weekend before I got drenched and I'm just sick of it. So I decided that, you know, I'll stay local. If I do get wet, at least I'm only 10 minutes from my house. Um, so I've come to a location called Long Bay Regional Park. I have been here with you guys a couple of times before. Um, but it is quite a big place, so there's a lot to explore and a lot of places that I haven't been. Um, so it still should be a wonderful adventure. I've got a new camera. I've got a Nikon D7200 and honestly, I'm so excited. And on top of that, I've got a Tokina 11-16 to f2.8 lens. Uh, so I've been wanting the, these two for the best part of 18 months now. And to be honest, I was going to wait till I got home back to the UK and purchase it there. So I think it would have been a bit cheaper than here in New Zealand and... I just didn't want to rush into the purchase too much, but some guy was advertising it on Facebook Marketplace of all places, and he had it on there for a fantastic price. Uh, he was just looking to get rid of it. Um, I think he bought it on a whim, and he just didn't get into photography, unfortunately. Um, perhaps I'll just show him some of my videos now, but uh, very good for me, obviously. So this is my first time out with it properly, so I'm really, really excited to, to try it out. Now, to get straight into this evening's adventure, I have actually took a couple of images already and the only reason is is I had to be very very quick and it was before I'd set up my tripod or uh, I was actually just messing about with my drone to be honest so I had to be very quick I had to get the drone down get the camera out it was crazy what we did have was a rainbow and as I was walking down the coast I did see the rainbow and I actually thought to myself I don't like rainbows I'm not interested in shooting them whatsoever um, I don't think they work compositionally. Um, I've not really seen many images of rainbows that I'm particularly inspired by. And then ironically, the rainbow just grew in saturation and it was the perfect bow. And then I had all these beautiful reflections where we're stood now. And it just happened, it just worked. So I got my camera handheld and I'm not 100% sure guys at this stage what settings that I used, um, but I will put them, I'll show you guys a couple of images now. And, and I'll put the settings underneath so you know um, how they were shot. So I hope you like um, those images of the rainbow guys and hopefully it gets one or two of you inspired to get your camera out uh, or even your phone, you know, the next time you see a rainbow and take a few snaps. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not usually a fan of the old rainbows, but I think that might have changed my opinion a little bit. So I suppose I'll keep an eye out for them in the future. Now, um, moving on, I found this wonderful subject here. It's going to be a foreground subject. I think, I think it's going to be a perfect foreground subject. And I actually found it um, with my drones. I was flying my drone around, just filming a little bit of B-roll for the vlog. And I saw this perfect circle here from above. And I just thought that this would be ideal um, for, for my new, new lens, my Tokina lens. So shooting at 11 millimeters. And I'm gonna really try and get that sort of wide angle landscape effect here. Um, so I hope that it works. I'm gonna get my camera out. I'm gonna get my tripod set up and just play around with composition. And there's a little bit of movement in the water, nothing too, nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to smooth it out a little bit and also get a little bit of a long exposure effect. Um, in the background, we've got Rangitoto and we've got some beautiful light and it might even get sort of better in the next 20 to 30 minutes as the sun sets. Um, so I'm gonna hold out for that a little bit as well. But I think we may have a nice image here.
Right, so I'm set up and this is very strange because, you know, when I'm looking at the image on the back of the camera after I've taken a shot, or even when I'm looking through the viewfinder, it's not how I envisaged it was gonna look in my head at all and I don't really know why and not necessarily in a bad way. I think I'm just still getting used to the sort of wide angle feel on this, uh, on this lens and I, th I think it looks really nice. Now I will mention I, I did move the camera to face a little bit more northwards away from Rangitoto um, and the only reason I did that is because the light wasn't very good over Rangitoto by the time I got my camera set up and it was nicer in this direction um, but worth mentioning. Now let's see how this exposure looks here. Now I've got my polarizer on the front as well guys um, and for any beginners that are watching here uh, hang on let me I'll turn the polarizer around here and if you look how much it changes the reflection in that foreground and in that water so beforehand, you know, you're capturing all the reflection of the sky, whereas afterwards it cuts through all of that glare that's on the surface of the water and you capture all that detail underneath, um, which isn't always the best thing to do. I think if the colour was really nice in the sky, then I'd probably leave the polariser off and capture all them nice reflections. Um, but yeah, I think that's working really well in this situation. Settings wise, for anyone that's interested, F8, which is, um, I've done a lot of research on this lens and I think that's a really good sweet spot, so I'm going to try that out this evening. ISO 100 and I'm in bulb mode because I'm using my remote shutter to shoot at 25 seconds and just to eradicate any shake in the, in the camera and in the tripod as well. Um, so all in all, I think that's going to be a pretty decent image. Alright, so um, I actually nearly got blocked off by the incoming tide then. Um, which is a bit scary. Uh, I need to keep an eye out and concentrate a little bit more in the future. Uh, I was actually very lucky. But anyway, um, yeah, that image, I, at this stage, I don't think it was amazing. I don't think it was really any good, to be honest, but I think it had a little bit of a sort of wide angle feel to it, and that was kind of like um, the plan. So I guess that's a little bit of an achievement in itself. Maybe let me know if you, did, if you do think it had that feel to it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'm gonna head back towards the car now, but I am gonna look for one more image. Um, the D7200, the Nikon D7200, from what I've read, has very good sort of low light capabilities. Um, so I do want to test that out this evening. Um, like I say, it's only from what I've read, so we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out for subjects. Um, but it is pretty dark, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge and I have to be quick. But we'll see what we can find. All right, so I hope you guys can see me all right. It's pretty pitch black now, to be honest. Um, so this is definitely going to be the last image. Now, it's not going to be amazing, um, but I don't know. I think this evening, is, for me, has been all about coming out and testing out my new D7200. And yeah, I've, I've been working all week and it's finally, uh, it's good to finally come out and get the chance to sort of play around with it. So I'm happy enough with that. Um, so I've got this, this um, composition set up here and it's very much a sort of nighttime scene. Um, I've got the, the moon in the frame, then I've got these very sinister looking rocks and cliffs in the foreground. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of bracketing, probably take three images to blend together because it's still, um, there's still a, quite a high dynamic range here, um, which I wasn't expecting. Um, so yeah, nothing really to say guys. It is a long exposure, but it's not gonna have a long exposure effect. It's just so that I can keep my ISO down at 100, which is um, awesome that this camera can do that. And I'm getting a nice little bit of faint light from the moon that's just um, adding a little bit of interest to the foreground as well. So, yeah, pretty nice. And um, I guess I'll wait and see when I get home to how good the sharpness is, um, even when it's this dark with my new camera. So hopefully it's nice. Here's the image. Ah, so um, it's officially pitch black so we'll definitely be heading home now back to the car go home and get some tea um, as always thanks so much for watching guys it is very much appreciated hope you enjoy the video hope you got something from it and any new people here please feel free to subscribe if you want to see some, no uh, some more and yeah thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next week out <laughs>